it's supposed to be a family thing, right? Blood thicker than water, family over everything, right? Family over friends, family over this. I mean, isn't that how it's supposed to be? Apparently, not always. Hi everybody, welcome to the Mindset Elevator. Hope you guys are feeling wonderful. To all my new subscribers, reoccurring, and all those who stop in once in a while, I hope you guys are all feeling wonderful and taking good care of yourselves. Let me know in the comments, how have you been feeling? And because I haven't asked this for a while, I'd like to know where are you guys all from? Where are you guys living right now? I like to connect with all of you from all over the world. It's a very humbling thing. I love people from all walks of life. So let me know in the comments where you guys are all from. You can let me know your country, your town, your city, your state, whatever you feel comfortable with sharing, I'd love to know, all right? For those who don't know, I'm from Toronto, Canada, so that's where I grew up and was raised, all right? So I'd like to know where you guys are from too, so I could feel even a deeper connection with each and every single one of you, all right, everybody? So today, we're going to be talking about family and how they could be your biggest enemy. I did a poll um, over the weekend, and thank you to all those who kindly participated but it was also disheartening to see that the highest uh, the highest percentage was that the toxic dynamics that you are a part of are those of your own family, either your parents, right, step parents, adoptive, or your family members in general. You know, your your siblings, your aunts and uncles, your cousins, your in laws. Like, what is that? You know, it's very disheartening to see how high of a number it is. And then, of course, there's many of of you who had other um, you know, other dynamic, um, you know, connections here. So thank you all for sharing. Today, we're going to talk about the family. We're going to talk about how family can be your biggest enemy. We're going to talk about how family can be your biggest, you know, they, they will put the target on your back. You know, when you think they're supposed to be protecting you and riding for you, no, a lot of times they're going to be targeting you, you know, trying to cause problems and mayhem in your life, hoping that you will be lacking as much as they do because they do have a lack mindset. And that's all it takes for them to get at somebody like you. It's that mindset that really makes them, you know, go a little crazy and start playing a lot of games with a really brilliant mind like yours. The family have seen you grown up, right? They've seen since you were a little tiny tot, right? They raised you. They put you through school, right? They took you in. Maybe they adopted you. Whatever situation it might be. A lot of times family think that because there is this familial tie that they can do anything that they want. They could talk to you in any kind of way and you're going to take it because of the tie, right? They think that they, because they know where you come from, they may see you struggle, right? Yeah, it's family. They're going to see you struggle. They're going to see you go through problems. They're going to see you go through things. And so it's like, they think that, well, now that you're up or now that you're not moving like them or not moving like the majority of them, right? That somehow, you know, you think you're better than everybody else and they'll put a target on your back. They will put a target on your back. Family can be the most vicious dynamic that you could be a part of. We'll put a friends aside. We'll put the coworkers aside because we know how they can move. This video is not about these people. We're talking about how vicious family can be, how much of an enemy they can be. It's really sad to see that so many of us cannot even trust people a part of our bloodline hold on that is a problem you know what i mean like that is not normal but unfortunately it has become normalized you know what i mean so many of us have dealt with this that it's almost like it's just normal you know my bro wants to fight with me every waking moment that's just my normal and you know, that's how he moves right nah but he shouldn't be moving that way what's the problem why can't he get his stuff together or what about your aunts and uncles, you know, when they try to get at you? Why can't they get their stuff together? There's got to be something deeper going on that's bigger than you, bigger than whatever they try to start with you. A lot of times it's, it's not what it seems, right? And let's think about the saddest, the mother and father, the people who brought you into this world. How could it be that they can be an enemy of yours? How could it be that these people want to get at you the most? They will shame you. They will belittle you, right? They will withhold information from you. They'll keep secrets. Yeah, this is what they do a lot of times. These, I'm talking about narcissistic parents. The people who think that, you know, they're going to have the golden child and they're going to have the, the scapegoat child, you know. And you grow up, you're forced to be brought up in this toxic, disgusting way. 
it is a disgusting way because it's damaging to the person who is being attacked and vilified throughout the family. It's a very disgusting way to be, very disgusting thing to have been done to you. And if you do feel like you are the scapegoat, if you do feel like you are the black sheep and your family has, they, they have these dynamics, you know, they do this. This is such a shame. This is such a shame. It's, a, it's very trifling. It's, uh, it's definitely unfortunate and it's not normal, right? It's not normal. But like I said, it's been normalized. There's so many negative things that happen around us that are not normal, but they've been normalized. They've been made to feel this is just how it is. This is how the family is. Get used to it. No. And that's why they're uncomfortable with you a lot of times, your family, because you're not used to it. They're going to call you rebellious. They're going to call you a problem. They're going to call you weird. They're going to call you an issue because you don't put up with their weirdness and with their issues. Yeah, you have a bird's eye view. You can see what's going on and you want no part of it. And that's okay. Why should you have to be bound to the drama, bound to the generational curse just because of the blood tie? That doesn't make no sense. Can't everybody be an individual, do what they want to do? Apparently, in these very toxic family dynamics, you're supposed to be bound to them at their will. You want something from them, you better be at their will. You better be willing to do what they say, because if you don't, it's a diss thing. And now they're going to treat you like a problem. They're going to treat you like you're an invalid. They're going to spread lies throughout the family. Trust me when I say they'll pull out all stops to make sure your reputation is destroyed. They don't care. They'll spread your information to other relatives, even relatives who don't really know you that well. Family can be vicious. Family can be terrible. Family can be horrific. You know what I mean? I'm talking about all types of abuse, all types of craziness, right? That I'm not going to get too much into because it could definitely be triggering, okay? But one thing is for sure, blood is not always thicker than water. You understand? A lot of us have, you know, we grew up in ways where it was not proper. A lot of us were subjected to very difficult situations, you know? And then now as we blossom into ourselves, the family thinks it's a problem. The family thinks that you're bougie, right? No, the family sees that you are on the path to healing or have healed. And this is troubling for them because they have not. You know what I mean? They have not healed. They have not done the work to get rid of the curse, to get rid of this problem, the generational problem a lot of times. Sadly, they don't know what they're doing a lot of times too. Sometimes they do, but at the same time, it's like it goes so deep. It's beyond them. Maybe their parents and then their parents and then their parents used to be this way until it comes to you and you're not going to be this way. Right. So it's definitely shaking up. You have to understand when you decide that you don't want to be a part of the toxic family dynamic. You want to be free. You don't want no parts of it. You don't want your name coming up. You don't want to hear no drama. You don't want to be a part of it. You are now shaking up generations of this garbage. You understand generations of it. You're switching it up. You're going to get a lot of people angry. You're going to get a lot of people upset. You're going to get a lot of people jilted, annoyed. How dare you step on the family? How dare you speak out against the family? But somebody needed to speak out. No, it had to be somebody. You are the advocate. You are the cheerleader. And you're out here working, going hard for your life, the life that you want to live. A lot of times a part of, apart from, you know, your toxic family. If you have a toxic brother or sister, all right. These people probably a lot of times they just don't have nothing going for themselves. Same with the parents. Same with the grandparents. They'll play favorites. They know what they're doing, though. They know what they're doing. All right. You know, your aunts and uncles, your cousins, none of them are exempt. If they see you and look at you in a certain way for long enough and they see the light in your eyes and they see that you're going places. Yeah, they're either going to use you, take you for a fool it's a family thing, right? Of course, of course not. You know, these people will talk your name into the ground and want you to give everything that you've got, you know, and think that they don't got to give it back to you because it's a blood thing, right? No, we're not going to be moving like that. In this season and every season to follow, nah, protect your stuff from your family. They'll snatch it right from under you and they won't care. They will not give to, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to care. All right. And so, of course, this is not everybody's family, right? Some people come from extremely loving, extremely positive, close knit families. And for all those, you know, who <laughs> who that is for, that's an awesome thing. 
that's an awesome thing. You should come from a happy family, have a beautiful cultivation, beautiful people in your family, wonderful support. It's a beautiful thing. This video though, you know, is about the people who don't come from that, who come from a situation where your family is your biggest enemy, you know, and they can be, they'll get at you. They don't care. They will have no remorse to see you on the streets would bring a smile to their face. To see you struggling, you lost your house, oh boy, the parties that would come about. You know, the parties, the rumors, I'm talking about full fiestas, about your demise, okay? It's very evil, it's very wicked, it gets very low. You know, your in-laws, the people who you marry, you know, you marry your partner and it's their, their family, they can get at you. They can be at your throat. They can have a problem with you. And a lot of times it's because you come from a different place. But what's the problem? Can't we come from different places and, and come together? It seems like, nah, sometimes that's not possible. You got to stay in your own lane and stay away from people who don't even want to get to know you, who don't even want to see your light, who don't want to respect you, no matter how hard you try to respect them, show them love, tell them, check up on them. These people will never play fair because they feel like, oh, who's this new person walking in? Who's this new person? Oh, they have my last name now? No, we, we were always this. You're an outsider. People are going to treat you like dirt sometimes, treat you crazy, right? Until you take your power back. And now everybody's wondering what happened, right? Listen, sometimes the family dynamic is shaky. All right, step parents, adoptive parents, you know, it can get very, very shaky if it's very, very negative, all right? So understand that when it comes to family, I don't really have a specific sort of advice I can give you here, except you have to use your discernment. You have to use your discernment because it can be different people in your family moving different types of ways, right? You may be able to tolerate it or it may be unbearable. You got to make the best choice for yourself depending on what route you want to take in life. All right. I highly encourage, though, that you really take a close look at your family and really take notice, take heed on the ones who really trouble you and what they trouble you about and how often this happens. And think about whether or not you really want to carry this into this season and the next and the next. Do you want this for your life? And this will be able to guide you into making the correct decision for what to do with these individuals. OK, blood is not always thicker than water. All right. And if you have your own family talking about your own husband or wife, your kids, your whatever it might be, you and your dog, you and your pets, cultivate that family. Be happy that you are not alone. You're not alone here. Yeah, this is a tough topic, but understand that. Look around you. You are not alone. Grow your own family. Make your own household beautiful. Make your own household peaceful. That's what I had to learn because, you know, you can go out here seeking family seeking togetherness and what you're seeking is a toxic situation that you're going to be bound to if you're not careful cultivate your own little family grow your own little life you know it's beautiful make it beautiful make it shiny make it nice all right make it vibrant make it positive all right everybody thank you so very much for joining me here on the mindset elevator hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a very touchy topic for all those who have been you know touched, you know, really, really negatively jilted, negatively affected by the family dynamic. Let me know in the comments. I'd really like to know if you wish to share. Go deep into it too if you want to, if you really want something to take off your chest, all right? Go into the comments and let me know how has your family affected your upbringing or affected your now, your future, your present, okay? What have they been doing? What have they been saying? You know, who has been getting at you? If you want to share, I'd love to know. All right. To all those, once again, who have been dealing with other family dynamics, rest assured that I will make other videos about this as well. Okay. So you're not forgotten about. Cultivate, grow your own family. Life is a beautiful thing. Let's not waste it on the people who clearly show they don't care. All right. Let's show the care for ourselves and continue to grow ourselves. All right, everybody. Thank you so very much for all the positivity. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay. Bye.